CRD TV. We have a gold fest today here at Hayden Road. It finishes AFC Russian Diamonds 4, Stratford Town 2. And a familiar uh, face here on AFC RD TV, the man of the match, Ben Aquai. Well done, Ben. Yeah. Uh, early thoughts. What did you think about the game today for yeah, Diamonds? Um, <laughs> the pitch obviously is not great, but, um, you know, we weren't great today, but... Um, the most important thing is that we got the three points and we worked hard as a team and um, yeah, that's what we just to get the win. I know it was disappointing to have the game postponed last Tuesday night because of a waterlogged pitch, so yeah. you're definitely glad to get the game on today. Yeah, the thing is when you're on a good run, um, winning streak, you want to keep on playing every week and then keep the momentum going, so it's important yeah. to keep um, keep on going and keep on trying to get the wins. The winning streak now up to four in a row. Yeah. So well done to Diamonds. Well, it was a good first half for Diamonds. Uh, Jesse Akubine with the first goal in the 24th minute. Yeah, and then you I'm thinking, like, hopefully he squares it across the goal because I was free. And thankfully I got a tap in. Well, Casaboni's been a nice addition to the club, hasn't he? Yeah, he's a really good player. He's powerful. He likes to run at defenders. And yeah, he's a good addition to the team, yeah. Okay, well, I hope you can tell Tamworth to try to extend his loan. Hopefully, hopefully, it's only yeah, a one-month loan there two weeks to go. But uh, uh, let's see. Um, Stratford Town did get a penalty kick uh, just before halftime yeah. by Sweeney. So it's 2-1 Diamonds at halftime, though you had to feel good, though, about uh, first half performance. Yeah, it, it could have been 2 now, but we gave them a little sloppy goal, so maybe they got their tails up and thinking they can come out second half and then try and get a second goal. But um, we stuck to the, um, the game plan and got a three mm -hmm. points, yeah. And uh, sure enough, it was somewhat deja vu in the second half because uh, the scoring again went 2-1 in favor of Diamonds. Liam Dolman, bully with a goal in the 63rd minute. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, Bully is truly a veteran leader of this yeah, team, isn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a great player. He loves a goal today, so, yeah, very good player. <laughs> and uh, good to get a goal there. And then Ben Farrell, fast, comes into the game as a substitute, and sure enough, he bags a goal in the 70th minute. Yeah, Faz, you know, everyone knows what he can do. You know, he's a very good player, and um, he's composing the ball, and it's good to see, see him get a goal, yeah. So uh, confidence has to be there for Diamonds. So perfect record so far in 2020. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we're taking it game by game. We don't want to think too much about other teams and just keep on doing our thing. Well, that's a very good outlook. Yeah. One one game at a time. Exactly, I think yeah. I've heard that a few times yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> through the year. Well, very good, uh, uh, Ben. And what about next game? Uh, it's a quick turnaround Tuesday night, hopefully, uh, weather permitting, uh, hence for town. Hence for town at home. So um, hopefully we recover properly and um, we go again on Tuesday. Well, Thank well done. Points, yeah. Well done today, Ben. Thanks yeah. for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank Bruce you. and Ben. I'm now here with manager Andy Peaks. Andy, four goals, three points. How pleased were you with the performance today? Uh, I'm didn't think it was our best performance by any any stretch of the imagination, but yeah, delighted to get three points. Um, that's what it's about any time in the season. Uh, we've played better than that, uh, but yeah, we've won. Um, conditions were not great for playing good football on, we knew that. Um, at times we played well, we took a chance when they came. So let's take you back to the very start. Jesse got another goal, that's some goals in consecutive home games for him now. How pleased have you been with him this last month or so? Yeah, I think he epitomises a lot of the younger ones coming through that keep playing the likes of him, Slinny, Ben Aquai. You know, Paddy, young kids, they keep their place in the team at the moment. They've got some experienced ones sitting waiting for them. So that, that's just all about Jesse, really. When you've got Ben Farrell sitting waiting for the shirt week after week, I must be pleased with Jesse. And, yeah, he got another goal. He does a lot of other stuff. But, yeah, he's having a couple of goals for his game as well. So, pleased for him. Ben Aquai also got in on the act again with that second goal. Well one back from Kaz Bonny. You must have been pleased with how clinical they were today. Yeah, Kaz, has got that bit of experience. And when he gets in good areas, he tends to make something happen. And he did that. It was a good choice to play Ben in. And he scored. And I felt 2-0. We were playing at probably 60%, but I was, I was pleased to be two up at that stage. Were you, did you have any doubts when it got to 2-1 and 4-2 and when we can see those goals? 2-1, uh, I was not, not have doubts, but it gives them a little bit of a lift, doesn't it? Obviously, they're fighting for their lives. We went two up really without playing great, and I thought when we looked good. And then we give a poor goal away, I felt. We give away the ball in a bad area. We didn't tackle till it was too late. And it gives them a penalty. It gives them a lift at 2-1 then. They're going down the hill, if you like, the way they wanted to be going. And it could have been game on, but I thought we managed the second half quite well. It was nice to get the third and fourth goals. Um, and like you said, the second goal they got, I think it was quite a good finish, but 50 minutes to go, I never really felt threatened, particularly today, man. So since the turn of the new year, we've actually kept up a record of scoring at least three goals in every game. You seem to have found your attacking formula now. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, we, I think people like to see us score goals. We're a bit more exciting. We're perhaps not defending collectively as well as we did probably last year at times, but we're certainly scoring more. I think we're exciting to watch. As long as we score more than the others, I'm not really bothered about the scores. So Greg Cataboni as well, I thought even though he didn't score today, he looked very lively down the right-hand side. He's been very good since he's coming online. What do you think of his performance today? Yeah, no, he's been good. So I think he's probably said he's had better games, but it wasn't a great game for running with the ball and trickery today. It was a case of playing balls in good areas, putting defenders under pressure and taking advantage of mistakes. And I think that's pretty much what we did. But yeah, he, he certainly had some, hence why he's been playing. Is there any chance we can keep him beyond his loan deal, may I ask? Well, I'd like to keep him. I think he'd like to stay. You know, we've got some more games this month. He's got quite a few till the end of the month, so we'll see where we're at. And it's something we'll discuss with him straight time. So looking ahead to the next week, we've got um, Hennesford back here on Tuesday and then Nuneaton, two tough teams. 
Um, do you think we can get some wins out of them? I think we've got two massive clubs, come, one's coming here and we're going to Nuneaton. Um, at the moment, you know, we don't fear anyone. I've said that from day one, but as we found out today and last week at least, then you have to be at it because other teams will get chances. And, you know, if you don't defend well and do the right thing, anyone can beat anyone. But if we prepare right, um, put a shift in, be organised, like we've been the last month at least, um, we've got a chance against anyone. So Tuesday night will be no different. I think we'll have to improve our performance quite a lot from today, from being honest, to get anything against Henderson. They've got a lot of good players. Um, but, you know, we're on a roll, so let's let's keep it going. What improvements do you specifically want to see in the upcoming games? Uh, well, that's a really good question. I want to keep a clean sheet to start with. That'd be nice. I like winning 1-0. I know the supporters don't. Um, but, no, I think we're more of the same, really. We've been peeing a lot. We've been... Yeah, not penalised. We've been um, punished when we've made mistakes the last two games, really. You know, little mistakes we've made. Teams have capitalised, and we can't afford to do that. But like I said, I'm not bothered. I, I want to keep coming in front of the cameras and going in there and moaning, saying we can do better by and keep winning games. I'll settle on that. Brilliant. Well, well done today. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I don't need love.